Renowned investor Ron Barron revealed in a CNBC interview that he has never held bonds before and is currently deploying his cash in the midst of inflation and the expanding U.S. debt burden. Today, we're going to discuss Ron Barron's opinion about investment. As the chairman of Barron Capital, Barron expressed an exceptionally bullish outlook on the market, actively acquiring assets daily. However, he highlighted the repercussions of government spending and borrowing on inflation and the capacity to settle bonds. He clarified that the repayment process doesn't involve the government directly reducing its debt. Rather, Barron asserted that it occurs by devaluing currency, essentially diminishing the worth of individuals' money. As they gathered for the Barron Investment Conference, billionaire money manager Ron Barron and his numerous retired investors remained unfazed by the harsh year the U.S. stock market has had thus far. For the first time since 2019, the company was able to have its annual meeting at the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City, where close to 5,000 investors and media representatives crowded in. It was far from depressing. Bruno Mars gave the main musical performance at the event, which also included talks from a few CEOs of businesses and portfolio managers from Barron Funds. Additionally, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, and Twitter, made an unexpected appearance and was interviewed by Barron live on stage. Despite Tesla shares experiencing a 50% decline since the beginning of the year amid a broader market downturn, Ron Barron has a notable 45% allocation of one of his major funds invested in the automaker stock. This represents an increase from the 41% allocation observed in early 2021. In total, Barron's firm manages 19 funds with nearly $40 billion in assets, and several of these funds, including the $6 billion Barron Partners Fund and the $700 million Barron Focus Growth Fund, have made substantial investments in Tesla. Although these two funds have experienced declines of 31% and 23% respectively year-to-date, their longer-term performance is solid due to the significant surge in Tesla stock in 2020 and 2021. Over the past five years, the Barron Partners Fund has delivered an average net annualized return of more than 25%. Ron Barron expressed his belief that in a decade, Tesla will emerge as the world's largest and most profitable company, as mentioned in an interview with Forbes ahead of his investment conference. Notably, Barron's firm not only ranks among the top 20 largest shareholders in Tesla, but also allocates a larger percentage of its overall portfolio, 11% to the stock, compared to many other major shareholders who typically cap their allocations at 5 or 6% according to filings. As a steadfast buy-and-hold investor, Barron remains confident that his funds will recover and continue delivering impressive returns in the future, primarily due to his significant investments in high-growth companies. While acknowledging a less than stellar performance this year, he emphasizes its relative nature. Given the firm's low turnover and strong long-term track record, Barron notes that investors are willing to exercise patience and afford them some leniency. Ron Barron, age 79, and the founder of his firm for over four decades, has experienced numerous bear markets. Despite the recent approximately 21% decline in the S&P 500 index, Barron perceives significant opportunities at present. Contrary to a year ago, when nothing seemed cheap, he now contends that stocks are exceptionally inexpensive on an absolute basis. The impact of higher interest rates has adversely affected many growth stocks. Barron acknowledged the challenges when markets are in decline, describing moments when it's all red on the screen. However, he emphasized the enduring importance of his buy-and-hold philosophy during such times. His funds, characterized by minimal turnover, continue to make strategic purchases when opportune, with sales occurring only when there's a change in fundamentals or a need to rebalance the portfolio. Barron stressed that the companies in which they invest should thrive and expand despite the surrounding market chaos. Furthermore, Barron stated that markets will stabilize at some point and projected a rebound by the end of 2024 with stocks probably going back to their November 2021 level and then doubling every 5 to 10 years after that. 
His optimistic view is largely a result of the company's larger wager on Musk's electronic car company. The billionaire money manager first invested $387 million to build his firm's Tesla holdings between 2014 and 2016, which have now yielded billions of dollars in gains. Barron maintained his belief that his company's investment will continue to be profitable even after Tesla's shares fell by 50% in 2022. If I could, I would buy more. The seasoned Tesla supporter highlighted the business's rapid expansion in terms of sales and production while also expressing optimism about the automaker's ability to continue raising profit margins. Tesla reported 343,000 deliveries in the quarter and its September 30, 2022, up from just over 250,000 a year earlier. The company has been steadily increasing both its vehicle manufacturing and delivery volume. Additionally, sales for the quarter exceeded $21 billion, a 50% increase over the same period the previous year. In recent years, he's also made significant investments in SpaceX, Musk's privately owned rocket company. The company has contributed close to $500 million in investment rounds in the past, including $100 million earlier this year when SpaceX's valuation surpassed $125 billion in May. I buy more whenever SpaceX comes along, Barron remarked, citing its unbelievable potential. According to his prediction, the corporation is expected to achieve a $150 billion valuation in the upcoming investment round. Barron also told Forbes that everyone is going to know about SpaceX and that it will be providing internet for the planet very soon through its Starlink satellite broadband service. He also maintained his optimism on the company's reusable rocket-focused Starship project, which Musk has referred to as the holy grail of space travel and which is essential for pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Ron Barron expressed optimism about substantial opportunities arising with Twitter, the social platform recently acquired by Elon Musk in a completed $44 billion deal. The acquisition process included Twitter suing Musk to ensure the completion of the purchase, although the lawsuit never reached the courtroom. Following the acquisition, Musk, now the owner of Tesla, revealed significant layoffs last Friday. He conveyed that the social media company had encountered notable revenue and cost challenges before the acquisition, but asserted that Twitter could ultimately be one of the most valuable companies in the world. Barron, however, isn't convinced about Musk taking on too much even as he concurrently serves as the CEO of three companies, including Twitter. Musk has set a target for Twitter to generate $1 billion in profits over the next 12 months to cover its debt payments. Apart from his investments in Elon Musk's companies, the billionaire investor has historically sought opportunities in companies experiencing annual revenue growth exceeding 15% on average. He places emphasis on those actively reinvesting their businesses, considering it a positive indicator for future growth. Optimistic about an eventual market rebound and economic recovery, Barron expresses a particular interest in leisure stocks, anticipating significant upside potential in the coming years. Among his recent ventures is Figs, a medical apparel maker specializing in scrums and attire for healthcare professionals. Barron likened the company to the Lululemon of healthcare in a CNBC interview earlier this year, praising its direct-to-consumer model and high profit margins. Despite Figs' shares being down approximately 75% this year, with a market capitalization slightly above $1 billion, trading for less than $7, Barron envisions the potential for a tenfold return on his initial investment over the next decade if the company's business model proves successful. Barron's funds have maintained an investment in Hyatt Hotels since its initial public offering in 2009. He holds an optimistic outlook for future potential, citing a substantial increase in room rates. Hyatt, with over 1,100 hotels and properties spanning 70 countries, has shown robust performance attributed to solid margins and growing revenue. The company consistently exceeded quarterly earnings expectations throughout the year, and its shares have only experienced a modest decline of just over 6%, notably less than the broader market downturn. Another enduring favorite and one of Barron's substantial holdings is Vail Resorts, a ski resort company that he first invested back in 2006. 
Although the stock has faced a 33% decline this year after significant gains in 2020 and 2021, Barron remains a staunch supporter of the company's business model. Notably, approximately 61% of Vail ski passes are sold in advance, securing a significant portion of revenue before the season commences. This strong demand enables the company to reinvest in enhancing the customer experience and pursuing new acquisitions. With nearly 40 resorts in 15 states, several countries, including a recent acquisition in Switzerland and future plans to expand to Japan, Vail Resorts remains a key component of Barron's investment portfolio. And that's all about today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, as well as press the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and we'll see you again later.